All right, shalom, 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 shalom to the elect of nation of Israel. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Chakwadash, double honors to my apostles, my elders, great millstone who lead, teach real well. <clears throat> Love and honor for fellow I can push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom, one, peace and blessings to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. This is the brother Yadav from G Mercy Land Church coming on the lesson through the spirit. Um, and this is going to be entitled Spiritual Therapy because um, I remember having a brief conversation with uh, a brother in the camp not too long ago. And uh, we were just talking about how doing the work and uh you know pushing the gospel that's uh containing the scriptures um you know in the name of yahweh bashim is a is a um a place and space of spiritual therapy in which uh the spirit led me to get the etymology of this word therapy and it's true man it is true so uh this is the etymology of the word therapy it says from 1846 medical treatment of disease in which you know disease going into this ease you know is just a, a a heightened level of discomfort um a heightened level of um uh you know disconnect and you know discontinuation pretty much a, a break in the system so to speak you know it says a medical treatment of disease from modern latin Therapia from Greek, therapia, curing, healing, service done to the sick, awaiting on service to cure, treat medically, literally attend, do service, take care of. You see, so man, doing this work and um and uh, uh you know they really touched a little. A little more um after completing my last lesson i was like man it just really feels good to just do the work man you know especially here in babylon you know where they are continuously wearing out the saints it's like you get to that point where you just in the work doing the work and it just it is therapeutic for your spirit man you know it literally attend do service take care of it it literally uh, helps to cure, treat, medically, attend, do service, and take care of <clears throat> our spirits. And it's it's a powerful uh, it's a powerful medicine. Medical treatment of disease, you know, it's a powerful medicine. in doing this work because it it it, connect, it reconnects us and keeps us connected with our higher powers. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, get this. Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. You see, surely oppression makes us mad, man, you know, because who wants to be oppressed? <laughs> You know, is is not a, a a natural desire to want to be oppressed. You know, but as the scriptures say, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. And even in the midst of us being oppressed, and uh, you know, us, uh, you know, living in the uh, in Babylon in hell. You know, it's a uh, the ending is going to be much greater than where we are right now in this story, you know, because America is going to be destroyed according to biblical prophecy. And Lord willing, we found a uh, way to be in the uh, number uh, uh, predestined for salvation when our uh, when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns. It says, uh, please, see seven and nine. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. And see, it's like. That's therapy, man. You see, G giving us, you know, certain spirits and attributes, patience, you know, rest, solemn, you know, peace. It's all therapeutic, you know, because this world is um, corrupted, you know. Um, Ezekiel 
9 and 4. It says, And the Lord Yahweh Shai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Going back to that oppression, man. That oppression is a uh, um, pressure field. You know, it's, it's, a, it's it. It can get tough, man. You know, it can get tough. But doing this work and continuing to uh, stay in the, you know, in the spirit and in the, in the, in the good graces of Yahweh Shemal Shai serves as that that spiritual therapy, man. Okay, so. Um, The word mark in the Hebrew H eighty four twenty the wa it says desire a mark a mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. You see, so even that is a type of medicine. You know, it's 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 a uh, it's a cure from nukes. <laughs> you know, through the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying because. Those who are found with that um, that spiritual mark of exemption are going to uh, be saved, man, you know, in the time of the destruction of America. Um, I can stay in blue letter. From there, we'll go to 1 Kings 10, 8 and 9. It says, happy are thy men, happy are these thy servants which stand continually before thee and that hear thy wisdom. And this is uh, the account of Queen Sheba going to uh, visit King Solomon. Um, and yes, you know, King Solomon had, an, an, you know, was, you know, the, the most, you know, the most wise uh, and prosperous king in Israel. Um, but really what made him wealthy in a true sense, is the wisdom and the amount of wisdom that he had from uh, the throne of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. First Kings ten and nine. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Thy power, which delighteth in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai loved Israel forever. Therefore made he the king to do judgment and justice, and. You know, going to the this, this spiritual therapy aspect, that's why, you know, happiness, you know, um, blessings, delight, you see. And this is all um, things that are given from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Like I said, uh, um, in essence, it's therapy, man. You know what I'm saying? For our spirit, because we able, we're able to keep our wits about us. We're able to keep a sound mind. We're able to, you know, continue to push and persevere forward because the most high is, in, is, is, is healing us day by day. You know, our, our own individual shortcomings, you know, the certain emotions that may arise with us being in Babylon and us, you know, having to fight and endure to, um, to stand, you know, to not, uh, uh, fall. It's all therapeutic, man. <laughs> it's all therapeutic. Um, from there, we're gonna go to First Peter three and fourteen. But, but, and if ye suffer for righteous righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord power in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks of you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and in fear. See, sanctify the Lord in your hearts. I mean, to, to really let the most high dwell in our spirits, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, in essence, a level of that, the why, that spiritual exemption because the heavenly father Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit and our Lord Yahweh Shai, really dwells within to a certain extent the elect you see because his wisdom is there his knowledge and understanding is there you know his will is there 
you see, which in a corruptible society and the corrupt vessels serves as therapy, you know, as a medicine, you know, as a, um, um, yeah, you know, therapy. Um, continuing on, have a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in the Mashiach. For it is better if the will of God be so that ye suffer well doing than for evil doing. You see, and, you know, there are certain situations in which you really can't get out of, you know. For example, if someone has cancer, I'm just saying for an example, if someone has cancer and they're taking therapy and they're getting medicine, but they still have cancer, they still have cancer. You know what I'm saying? So if we are in particular tight situations or dealing with certain things, you still got to deal with it until the most high chooses to or chooses not to, you know, remove it from you. But if the most high chooses to not remove it from you, you just got to just live with the medicine. And it's all good, man, because the the mercy of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, and his medicine and his prescription is more than enough, man, you know. Um, and from there, I'm going to go to Baruch 4 and 4. Oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us, which that, like I said, helps to ease our minds, you know, because the things that, you know, may seem to be just completely outlandish in the world, we can make sense of because we understand that that's the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Continuing on, verse 5, be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. See, be of good cheer, which helps to, you know, enlighten our spirits, you know, mean to make it so we're not, it's not so heavy on us, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is the memorial going into the remnant. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Baruch 4 and 6, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most high to wrath. You were delivered unto your enemies. And even with that, going to that memorial, that remnant of Israel, we weren't sold to our to you know these heathens for our destruction. We were sold because <clears throat> we moved the most out of wrath. But with that being said, matter of fact, let me see. Yeah. Baruch 4 and 21. Be of good cheer, O my, o my children. Cry unto the Lord. See, even being able to cry helps to release certain things off of you. And he will deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you and joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. We're going to get, Lord willing, we're going to get saved, man. You know, and in the kingdom, this is going to be like just a nightmare. Like, damn, Babylon. <laughs> but even with that, it's like the suffering that we go through, you know, on this side, is not even going to begin to compare to, you know, the, the majesty that we're going to be able to partake in in the kingdom. So I'm going to off there. Lord willing you edify. Once again, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, great millstone who will lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors my fellow occupation, wearing true faith and city across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.